Okay, by now you should be familiar with the procedure and vocabulary involved in an experiment. Terms such as trial, random assignment, control group, experimental group, and independent and dependent variables should be second nature to you. And you should be aware that an experiment is designed to determine the effect of an independent variable on a dependent variable. See Difficult Topics video, Experimental Design. Now in a perfect experiment, only the independent variable would have any effect on the dependent variable. But alas, life and experiments are rarely perfect. Extraneous variables are often present in an experiment and may or may not compromise the validity of the experiment. An extraneous variable that affects the validity of an experiment is referred to as a confounding variable. Now, to better understand what I mean, let's take an experiment that's been done in grade schools for generations. Let's see whether sunlight makes plants grow. You start your light growth experiment by placing one plant in the sunlight and one in the darkness, and then you wait. When you see that one of your plants is doing better than the other, you automatically assume that it's due to the sunlight, but you may be wrong. Did you accurately measure the water given to each? Or how about the soil and air temperature, or the size of the containers, and even the location? These are all extraneous variables, extra variables that may or may not interfere with your experiment. Now, if any of these extraneous variables impact your results, then we call it a confounding variable. Think of all the extraneous and confounding variables that may be present in a psychological experiment, especially those involving humans. Then you'll get an idea of why it's so important to recognize extraneous variables, especially the confounding ones.